Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ. Get me an opportunity, she gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. So the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey, and Amanda Nunes, and Holly Holm, and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda Lamarche. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's Bantamweight champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. Well, no surprise, the Scotiabank Arena packed to the nines. These Canadians just have an insatiable appetite for them. Every time there's a fight in the north, the arena is completely full. And tonight, you see the same thing. I cannot wait for a great fight. Lemos gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense there. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice call to Lemos. Good defense blocking that punch. a position right into that single column. Pennington gets the early takedown. Takedown defense holds up. Fast pace here in the early goings. Let's go hit her first. Get he jump. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. How good is her submission defense, though? Lemos is in half guard. 
All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady. She always throws her hooks in right. and just gets brutal damage. Three minutes in our opening round. Oh, look at this. She's got her in the crucifix. A lot of body weight with which to connect. It's a very tough situation for the bottom girl. Before the time is just maintain and keep control. Keep it safe. Don't allow it to turn chaotic. Because when it turns chaotic, you lose one of the arms. You got to keep both the arms. Punch, punch, punch. Elbow, elbow, elbow. And end the fight. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Lemos. Nice shots landing from the top position. Just over two minutes to go. It's work. I'm going to stand you up. You need to work. Oh. She's moving her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. Well, he put an elbow. Back to the feet now. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. Oh, big elbow. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her. Oh, oh she's got to keep pressing now. She finally gets the takedown here. She kept on trying. She knew at some point she was going to be able to take this fight down. Certainly got her down here and with style points. Oh, and she's back up again. Great submission defense on splitting that. In the half guard. Pennington's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. We have reached the end of round one. All right, take the seat, bud. Relax, breathe, slow it down. Slow the heart rate down. You with me? Okay, listen. I need you to stay relaxed. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of lever Ready changing, getting into her opponent, Ready. not allowing her Good. opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. Yeah. Nice punch there by Pennington. All right, here we go with our next round. Free headaches if you want them. How about all the volume of strikes landed to the head by her in the previous round? Oh, man, she's landing at an alarming rate over and over. Dropping that right hand behind a beautiful jab if her opponent may be approaching the end of the fight. Oh, nice jab to the head there behind oh, oh, the world of trouble now. Her opponent's in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Oh, look at that. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight. And now her opponent, Dave, 
Rogers back in. Her opponent will now try to find their way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her out this time. That guillotine is tight. officially on fire right now after what she just did. There are a few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a win by submission, and she got it done with style points here tonight. She got it done with style points, John. This young lady is a submission wizard, and it was on full display tonight as she gets another submission victory. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Well, not unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, <laughs> and she is still the UFC women's Bantamweight champ. What a great champion that...